mute. So they were they didn't understand that. Why would you do that? Okay. Right? So Allah, so from what we know, Allah told them that I know what you don't know. Okay. Right? And that is a very essential thing that look, I mean, yeah, you're all smart and what have you and like you're you're a super investor here, but mm -hmm. Like, you know, I, I don't know about investment as much as you do, but at the end of the day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator, knows it much more than what we know, right? We cannot ever comprehend the knowledge and the wisdom of the creator. So they understood that, okay. right? But to demonstrate that, to manifest that, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did is uh, he, he taught information, he taught knowledge to Adam, who was okay. our common father, right? The first human being, right? Yeah. And then... He put down and laid down a bunch of things, and he, he asked the angels that tell me the name of these things if you know, right? And they said, you know, glory to be you. We don't know except what you have taught us, and we don't know about it, right? And then Allah told Adam to tell them the names. What what's, what are these things? And Adam told them, right? So then Allah told them that look, I told you, I know the hid, I know the hidden things. I know what you reveal, and I also know what you don't reveal, right? So that was that, that you know, that humbleness that you don't have a complete knowledge and yeah. that also Adam has more knowledge than what you have. Does that make Adam the first prophet? Just right now? Like based on that. Based on what has happened so far? Yeah. No. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Not that I know of, I mean. Sorry, when you yeah. say them, you mean other humans. Like when you say Adam told them. Oh, to, to, to angels. To angels. So right now there's no human being. There's only Adam at the moment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this guy Satan, right? And angels. And so it is only one jinn, which is Satan. No, there are more jinns too. Oh, but Satan is the most. Yeah. Okay. So Satan is, well, yeah, so we, okay, maybe we should just clarify that. Okay. So jinns have free will, right? So when yeah. you have free will, you can do good and you can do bad. Correct? Yeah. So there are jinns who are Muslim, there are jinns who are Christian, there are jinns who are Jews, there are jinns who are atheists, all sorts of different jinns. Mm -hmm. There are also jinns who are, you know, back to your question about sex, there are jinns who also have different sex. Okay. Right? So it's just like human mm -hmm. in a sense of that choice, but we can't see them, they can see us. Okay. Right? Yeah. Not a big deal. I mean, there's a lot of bacteria around here we can't see, right? Yeah. So jinns are like demons pretty much. Well, that's the point is that they, they can be very good jinns too. Okay, but they're not angels. Yeah, they're not angels because they have a free will. Okay. Right? They're free will, they're accountable for their actions. So, are, are we considered jinns? No. Same as no. So, so, we are different from jinns, so you can think of it as like as parallel, right? Because, you know, as I said, like, we can't see the jinns, jinns can, can see us. Okay. Right? But, but that's not a very essential thing. The point, the reason that now Satan is a disobedient, disobedient jinn. Okay. So he chose to disobey Allah as we will see now. So far we haven't seen that, by the way. We just jumped yeah. ahead. Right? Okay, so that's jinn. So, so far so good. Yeah. Right? So what we have, Adam, superior with knowledge. Allah has a purpose behind creation of Adam. He has a purpose and wisdom behind giving free will to Adam. Even though that free will would have some negative consequences short-term negative consequences, right? I just want to quickly see that, if you don't mind. Uh, I think that's not time. All right. Um, okay, so then Allah tells, Allah orders that all of you guys, angels and Satan, bow down, prostrate to Adam as a sign of submission, as a sign of, you know, recognizing his superiority, right? Yeah. So what would angels do? Do whatever he says. Exactly, right? No questions asked. Mm -hmm. Satan. He questions him or he Yeah, he's like, whoa, well, how is that gonna happen, right? I'm the big guy here. Right? Mm -hmm. And he has free will, he has ego, he has everything. Mm -hmm. And now Allah is telling them to bow down to Adam, right? So he challenged Allah. So he started using his own intellect mm -hmm. rather than submitting to the command of Allah. He's like, I'm better than him, why should I bow down to him? Right? And he doesn't understand that there's no notion of betterment, right? I mean, it's, it's okay. a gift and honor from Allah. Like, I mean, who are we at the end of the day, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, we didn't create these hands or our skin color or our minds or our brains or what have you, right? Wait, did he create the jinn so? Yeah, he created, yes. Everything that exists, mm -hmm. Allah has created everything. Okay. There was nothing, but Allah was there. But how can you blame him for doing whatever he did if he created them? Exactly, because of free will, right? So, oh, that's a little loophole. Okay. 
right? Yeah. So, no, so that's the thing, right? I mean, so this is actually very beautiful. Yeah. Had Allah wanted, as the angel said, he would yeah. not have created this thing of free will. We would not even be talking about free will, right? We would not yeah. even be able to comprehend free will, mm -hmm. right? So that's actually a beauty and perfection of Allah that he can have control and mm -hmm. he can still have free will, right? And we can understand that from human perspective as well. So he still has control over the jinn? Yeah, he has control over everything. Okay. Well, okay, so let me bring that quickly here, right? So for example, look, you know, um, when you are driving on the road, right, you have a free will, yeah. right? And a city allows you to have that free will. But it's also control, in a sense, right? Because you can't, you can't really do a lot with these vehicles, for example, right? Okay. It's only set, like, you can't, you know, you can't, uh, you know, fire a mis missile, missile from this vehicle, for example. From which vehicle? Like your Honda or what have you, right? We don't know that. <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay, I'm, I'm sure you, yeah, can't, you can't... Are you talking about like the laws of physics or what? No, I'm, I'm talking about the control in the society, for example. Like, lo like laws of physics or... The rule of law. They're, so the point is like, okay, oh, I, I let you drive okay. a car, right? Mm -hmm. There's only certain amount of damage you can, can do with a very okay. likelihood. You can't like, you know, fire a missile to North Korea. With so I'll get in trouble and stuff. No, 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 even if you no, wanted to. Mm -hmm. Like a regular Honda Civic. Like a regular right, I mean, it's going to take you a lot of modification, it's going to take you a lot of, you know, mm -hmm. smuggling of different sort of weapons to do what you want to do, right? Yeah. Uh, and this is not, I don't know, this is going to totally yeah. be a discussion. But uh, the point I is... I shouldn't record this. <laughs> <laughs> we can edit it on. <laughs> the, the point is that, um, that you have this sort of... That the, what I was trying to help you see that, you know, mm -hmm. from a human perspective as well, the yeah. city of Toronto mm -hmm. gives you free will, but it's still contained. There's a, only a certain amount of damage that you can do with the amount of free will that you have. It's like you can, if it's 60 kilometers on the highway, on the the regular road, yeah. you can drive 60 kilometers, but if you go past 60 kilometers, you're gonna get fined. Like, that you can't but do the, that. Those are rules, though. It's yeah. rules, that's, those are the yeah. rules. No, I'm saying you can even go 300 kilometers an hour, right? Mm -hmm. But you can't go 1,000 kilometers an hour, for example. Well, like in it, general. It would be impossible. Yeah, that's why I said laws of physics can define yeah, laws of physics. Laws. Right, so, yeah. so the point is that even though they are giving you some sort of power, there's mm -hmm. still, somehow you're constricted. Either it would be because of the law enforcement yeah. that's moving around, or the cameras, or the yeah. engine, the law of physics, whatever. One way or the other, there's mm -hmm. some sort of constraint. My okay. point is that, now, this is a very small example. Now, if mm -hmm. you take it to the level of God, yeah. you have free will, and you have these restrictions all in one place. Yeah, because humans are limited to whatever... Yeah, yeah, humans are limited and like, like, I mean, right now, it mm -hmm. wouldn't take God a lot of time to just paralyze my hand. Okay. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So I can't do, you know, what I, God doesn't want me to do, essentially. Yeah. But He also gives you that free will. So when, you are, when your free will is acting, then you're responsible and accountable for your action. Okay. Right? Although He is the one who has given you the free will. Mm -hmm. So you can use it for good and you can also use it for bad. Yeah. Right? So Shaitan, the Satan, the devil, he chose to use it for the bad. And the reason you would use it for the bad, and that will come to your question about good, right? If I'm yeah. good, what happens to me? Mm -hmm. The point is that, so that's a very important question we'll come back to later. But the point is that no, Satan, he said, no, I'm not going to do that because I think I'm better. Mm -hmm. He challenged Allah. So Allah is saying, frustrated to him. He's like, no, I'm better, right? So yeah. essentially he's saying that I know better than Allah. Okay, yeah. All right? Um, my question is, you said when, when Allah created everything, he had a purpose. What, okay, what is the purpose behind creation? Okay, so that's a good question. So the purpose behind anything that Allah does, mm -hmm. right? We may know it partially. But we'll know for fully understand. We, we know it, you know, we may know it like nothing about it. We mm -hmm. may know partially about it, and but we won't, we, we won't know 100% of it, right? Yeah, like because if we were to know it, then we essentially have the mind of a creator. Yeah, okay. Right? So there's always going to be that deficit. Having said that, I'm not saying that I, we don't know anything about it. I mean, somebody may know more about it, or you may reflect, and you may come about something that I haven't thought of, right? Okay. But from what I know of, what I've read, there's many, pur many purpose, right? The point is that this lets you actually see the, the perfection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the variety of creation that Allah has, right? Okay. And, uh, I mean, so for example, if Allah did not create Satan, then, you know, like, okay, there's no disobedience, for example, but then mm -hmm. we're back to the point of, like, just have all angels. Yeah, there's right? no contrast. Right? But then a God who does not create free will, a God that does not manage free will, mm -hmm. is lesser, right, than a God who can actually create free will and manage free will. 
Okay, that makes sense. Right? But there's one God. But yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, and that, that's yeah. natural, right? I mean, how can you have multiple gods? Like, yeah. that's just unnatural. Yeah. If you think of multiple gods, right? Um, okay, so that's that. So anyway, so he said, no, not, no, no, I'm not frustrating. Okay, so Allah said, all right, so you are in this, you know, uh, with this honored company with angels. You will be repelled from it. You will be rejected from it. And Satan says, you know what? Yeah, that's fine. But don't destroy me now. Give me some time till the last day. And I will show you that this creation that you're preferring, mm -hmm. they will be very ungrateful to you. Okay. So that was an open challenge. So, okay, Allah said, I'll give, give you time. I'll give you the respite. And mm -hmm. you will only have power on those who follow you. My chosen servants, you won't have any power on them. Okay? So far, so good. Then Allah creates a wife for Adam. Okay? So okay. Eve. Eve. Yeah. Okay. Um, so there's an Arabic name for it, but that's not a big deal. No, so it's Arabic name for it. It's Hawa. Okay. Right. I'm gonna say Eve. Yeah. No, it's the English name. So, I, so I mean, that's yeah. just an Arabic name. I don't know if maybe okay. she. I don't know what she called herself, or mm -hmm. I actually don't know. Maybe some people may know. But if I say I don't know, that doesn't mean that nobody knows. It's just that I personally don't know, right? And then what happened was that he created. Adam and Eve, yeah. or Hawa, and then he put them in paradise. Mm -hmm. Now you're in paradise, right? So now, um, he says that, okay, you know what, just enjoy the whole paradise, eat and drink whatever you want, mm -hmm. just this tree, don't go near that tree. Oh, the apple's in the story too, it's in the Bible. Yeah. Okay. So the, I just don't have the apple. There's no apple? No. Okay, what is it? But, no, I, I, there's nothing, no, no, no oh. fruit name. Okay, okay. Does that mean that it wasn't called apple? I don't know. I just okay. don't know. I don't have it in Quran, so I can't. Oh, it's not in there. Yeah. The forbidden fruit. It's, oh, it's a tree. The a tree is mentioned. Apple is not mentioned. I think the forbidden fruit is just like an analogy for because apple is supposed to give knowledge. Yeah. Like oh, knowledge well. so. that makes sense. Right. So even if it's in the Bible, it doesn't mean that Jesus taught that. By the way. Okay. Right. Because yeah. we we can't track it back to the Bible, Jesus. Right. Mm -hmm. What I can track it back is whatever is in the Quran, or whatever the prophet said, and we verified it. Yeah. Right. Okay. I, mean, can't, I can't track, so that's why I don't want to claim something that I don't know. Makes sense. So anyways, this tree, leave it, and, no, and as far as I know, or mm -hmm. there was no reason given. Meaning okay. that it's going to make you fat, more cholesterol, you're going to be dizzy, tired, not good for your health, nothing, okay. none of that. The reason was mm -hmm. that I told you not so. See, that's what I was thinking, it's like a... Okay, yeah. Right? Science and that's very Yeah, and, and, and this is, you know, like it or not, this is where the good comes in, right? Yeah. So when, now, if you were to say that was Adam good or bad, like in the, the action of Adam was good or bad, mm -hmm. that is determined by his obedience to Allah. Okay. Right? If he is good, it will result in obedience to Allah, right? Yeah. And if there's some sort of badness or some sort of confusion or some sort of a slip, it mm -hmm. will result into badness. Like similar to the jinn. Right. Yeah. So Jin had like a big badness. Yeah. Right? He was like straight up, right? Mm -hmm. No repentance, no sorry, no nothing. Yeah. Right? So now what happens? Adam has everything. Just one thing. Don't don't go near this thing. Okay. Right? Now this guy is gonna do his job, right? I'm gonna show you that Adam is ungrateful to you, right? So he mm -hmm. kept going to Adam not once, not twice, again and again. Mm -hmm. He kept telling him that this tree, he made a promise basically. If you eat from it, Mm -hmm. You will become, you live forever, mm -hmm. right? And you will have a kingdom that will never perish, right? False mm -hmm. promise, yeah. deception. But didn't he already have that pretty much? Exactly, right? Okay. So, so that's the thing, right? But I mean, so we also, we, so, and that will, when we come and think about our lives, we also have a lot of things, yeah. but it's just that extra, that more, you know? That, okay, that girl is better, that is yeah. better, you know? It's just mm -hmm. the other side, right? So the grass and the green, that. yeah. So he was tempted. Okay. Again and again, right? Mm -hmm. And then eventually he ate from that. I failed the test. Yeah. Okay. But but that's the thing. It's not complete yet, right? Mm -hmm. So there's there's action before choice, right? When you have a choice, yeah. and then when you make the choice, and after the choice, right? Because it's a whole spectrum, right? Now you're gonna see another attribute of God that you haven't seen mm -hmm. so far. Okay. Right. Yeah. So now. The, when I continue this story, you're going to see another side of God that you haven't seen so far, right? So everything has a reason behind it. So when he ate from that, he suffered consequences, right? For example, their, their paradise clothes were taken away, right? And then, but what he did was, he said, you know, oh, oh Lord, we are both sorry. We have wronged ourselves 
And if you are not to forgive us, if you are not to have mercy on us, we'll surely be from the losers. Right? Okay. Now, this is a different sign. He didn't say, oh, <coughs> why did he even create the tree? Yeah. Right? Just fence it. Just take it away. Right? Mm -hmm. You know? This one, why did you even create Satan? He kept bugging me. Right? Yeah. Why does Satan have access to me? Right? Mm -hmm. No. He realizes that like, Allah gave me the free will. Allah gave me the knowledge and the free will. And I made the error. So he took responsibility of that. And he hold himself accountable. And he was genuinely sorry. Right? So okay. that's, that's the beautiful side of it. And the, another side of God, he accepted his repentance and he forgave him. Okay, yeah. Right? So another thing to remember is that somebody, um, so let's say somebody has this status in the sight of God. Right? Here. They commit a sin, they go down, right? Right? Their status decreases. Mm -hmm. But when they make true repentance, they can actually come back up. They can, they, their status can actually go above and beyond what they were before the sin. Right? Okay. So this action of regret, this action of submission, humility, can actually raise someone. Okay, so it's like you're being taught to be submissive to God. Yeah, and humble, right? And not asking questions for anyone. Well, I mean, if you trust Him, right? If you submit and you trust Him. Yeah, but you can still trust someone but still ask questions. Exactly, right? Yeah. So there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. But would you know everything, right? No. And, and would you only do when things make sense to you, right? That's, yeah, it's a little hard because, I mean, isn't that, isn't that kind of how you were created? Not necessarily, right? I mean, you have to realize that, look, I mean, we, right now, in today, we don't only do things that only make sense to us. Yeah, I guess, yeah. I know. Right? Because yeah. sometimes you do think that you know are wrong, for example, and you still do it. Right? How many people, like, how many doctors smoke? Yeah. Right? And they know it's bad for them. Yeah, that's a good thing. I don't want to get into that. Okay. Okay, yeah. So, but the point is that yeah. people do think that they generally believe are wrong. Yeah. Right? Yeah, they commit sin, but they're okay with that. Yeah. yeah. It's like the concept of like someone cheating or something like that. Like they, or like more doing something more wrong. Mm -hmm. They know that it's wrong. They have it in the beginning. They yeah. have that feeling, but they just look past it. Well, there's more, like, if they don't think it's wrong, and they do wrong, but to you it's wrong, but to me it's right. No, no I'm saying... That's different. No, yeah, but do you know that people do think that they're wrong, and they know that's wrong? They are, yeah. That are even against your goal. Yeah. yeah, so they're even against their New Year resolution, if you will, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So it's written down, I'm not going to do this, and they still go and do it, right? Yeah. So, and, and they do sometimes do things that... So, for example, you know, like, he may invest money with you, and he doesn't mm -hmm. understand it all, but he just understands that you know that you will make him more money. Yeah. Right? I'm sure your clients do that, right? Yeah, all the time. All the time, right? Mm -hmm. So they don't have no clue what you're doing with their money. It's that, yeah. that trust, mm -hmm. right? So, so that's the whole thing, if you trust God or not. But at the same time, you can ask, right? And God gives mm -hmm. you insight and you see a vision. And a lot of reasons for God that God has given, mm -hmm. right? You basically know the reason and wisdom behind it. So on so, Judgment Day, I can ask a bunch of questions? Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. Oh, okay. Oh, shit, I can't wait. <laughs> but, but the point would be like the, who will be asking questions not, right? I don't want to know everything I yeah. want to know enough yeah and you can you can have a yeah. lot of wisdom even in this world okay yeah right like I mean the hearts are like some people like really see through it they are very aligned with the God, God's commandments they see it yeah right mm -hmm. so that itself is a very a blessing yeah right and that also comes when you show that trust right so you have to take that first step sometimes Right? I mean, for example, the more I invest with you, my, the more confidence I would develop in you. Yeah, of course. Right? But yeah. I have to do that first investment. So the more I invest with God, the more results I see. Them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. The more you reflect on the Quran, the more you reflect on the Book of Allah, the more you reflect how things would be. Mm -hmm. Right? Where, I mean, right now, for example, in today's world, I think, yeah. uh, people are more able to appreciate the, uh, the Islamic economical system compared to maybe a thousand years. Yeah, right, okay. because we have seen what the alternatives do to the society. Yeah, over time. Right, what the alternatives, when you see that, now you've seen it, you've experienced it, right? Mm -hmm. So our appreciation of those Islamic rules can actually be much higher than how they were like maybe hundred or thousand years ago. Yeah, okay. Right? Um, likewise for other scenarios, I mean like for example, I don't know if you, there's a, there's a doctor, uh, Dr. Bilal Phillips, he's a Canadian mm -hmm. convert to Islam. 
and you know he was born Christian. He went into communism and maybe tried some other things as well, mm -hmm. right? But then, so he's been trying and searching. Okay, what is the solution to the problems of the society? And then yeah. he found that the perfection and the comprehensiveness in Islam. So the more you research, the more you struggle with life and the world in general, the more you're able to appreciate it. But as what well. about all the other people who aren't converting? What yeah. happens if, like to them? They're like done. Well, you're gonna come to that, right? Okay. That that's your burning cushion. So, okay, yeah, yeah. Right. so anyway, so yeah, we're done with the story is done basically. Okay. So now what okay. happens is so he he said, you know, he was forgiven. Yeah. Okay. But then God said now all of you will go down on earth. And that was the original plan anyways. Wait, all of who? Like so Satan, mm -hmm. Adam and Hawa or Oh, Eve. I thought they're already there. No, they're in paradise. Oh, okay. It's not there? No. So paradise is like you don't have to do anything, right? So you basically okay. that's where we are trying to go. That's where oh. my RSV is for. Okay, that's like VR. Huh? Okay, I know. Uh, yeah, that, that's not that's not VR, man. Okay. That's a that's a that's, that's a, a this is VR. Oh, is that is that this is, is, that this, like, is this is VR? Wait, when we when we die, then the VR ends. Okay. Is that is that like heaven, paradise? Yeah, yeah. Par par paradise and heaven, right? Mm -hmm. So b b paradise is basically this actual version of the retirement, where you know, old age retirement is like youth retirement. Okay. So you have full abilities and like you're not like humanly limited. You have like a better body, better age. Oh, so they, do they, like they explain what paradise looks like? And like what yeah. you are in paradise? Yeah, so there's, but I mean, again, you can't grasp it fully because you haven't experienced it, right? But you can relate it to the human notions. Is it immortality in heaven? Yes. So you, you don't die in heaven or in hell. You don't come back to earth and like. No. So once you leave earth, you, you left, right? Okay. I mean, but then, okay, so now that's another angle to it, right? I mean, we have two components to our bodies or to our existence, right? Yeah, that's one is the body and the soul, yeah. right? So body deteriorates, body becomes weak and strong and then weak again, right? Mm -hmm. But soul doesn't, like, I mean, soul is what transfers on, moves on. Yeah. And soul can then, you know, take on another body, mm -hmm. which is still going to have some sort of pain and but pleasure. That's reincarnation, right? Yeah, that's what I was no, no, not in this world. Not in oh, this so world. So it takes in form and it, it takes yeah. form in, in a paradise. different universe? Or in yeah. paradise? In, in paradise, paradise or hell. Okay. So there's like th third stage, which is basically the stage of grave, right? Wait, wait, wait. So when I go to, you know, inshallah, if I go to heaven and my soul, is, you know, goes, then what happens to like, the, like, are there more, like, are, is there a limited amount of souls? Like, no, there's like infinite, there's a lot of souls there. I have soul. People who died before us have souls. Yeah. Like, like, and their souls, they can't come back. So there's an infinite amount of souls then. Whichever God you Well, it depends on how you define infinity, but yeah. Okay, well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, we, we can't count it. We can't comprehend the number of billion. Yeah, like it's infinity. From the beginning, yeah, from the beginning of time, that's mm -hmm. people, a human being, that's a soul right there. So, yeah. for the first of time, he dies, that's a soul that he's yeah. in the grave. So, the weird. So, his soul can't come in my body. No, no. no. It can't no. be recycled. No. Okay. It stays there until it, you, it will go into its original, like, it, no, like when it goes paradise, when the time comes, mm -hmm. or when the day doesn't come, so on and so forth, that's when his body, his soul yeah. will take form into another, you know. So you, you basically receive a body once you get to paradise. Oh, I get a so new it's body. it's a new body, but yeah. it's not an earth. Oh, I read up. Okay, so <laughs> is there like, oh, wait, I had another question, I forgot. Be better or worse, yeah. but you have a new body. Um, oh, yeah, do we know if time exists in that paradise? Because apparently time is like, doesn't really exist. Right, so it's a different notion of time. Yeah. Totally, like, so one day in, in, in the afterlife, mm -hmm. it'll be like thousands of years in this life. But we're not sure. Oh. Right. No, no, we know. So, so like, there's some some numbers that are given in Quran, right? right? So it's also yeah. your experience too. So if you're mm -hmm. a believer, right? Yeah. You are having a much better experience, right? By, okay. Yeah. Right. I mean, especially at the time <laughs> that I'm talking about, the day of judgment itself. The day of judgment okay. itself is a pretty big deal. Yeah. Right. The day that's when you will be judged and you'll be decided which way you're going. Obviously, you would know at your time of your death mm -hmm. what's happening to you, right? Because at the yeah. time of death, I mean, as I was saying. This is VR. When when the angel of death comes in, mm -hmm. there's no VR. You see it all. Oh, do you get to look down, sort of? No, no. Or no. When you're at your deathbed, mm -hmm. right? When the soul is gonna leave your body, mm -hmm. you will actually be seeing the angels that are coming to take you. This is the thing. You're explaining all of this, and like now I'm excited to die. Is that a bad thing? Because <laughs> it it sounds so good. Yeah. Well, I'm like yeah, I'm ready. Just like. Uh. Well, that's a good thing. It's a good I'm thing. Ready. It's a good thing. Okay, yeah. Because <laughs> uh, I can't commit suicide. That's that's a no no. Yeah, that's a no. All right. Yeah.
But as the prophet said, a believer looks forward to meeting his Lord. Because I'm excited right now. Okay, I'm excited. Right? I'll calm down. Yeah. She calm down, man. Heaven sounds nice. But you're not necessarily going to heaven. I'm not. No, I'm going to put in the work, but... Uh, yeah, if you, yeah, if you're going to heaven, then absolutely, man. Then, okay. Yeah. My, my question is, uh, what? So there's descriptions of heaven and paradise. Let, let, let Adam come down on earth. Let me just complete oh, that. So oh, because more to the story. Yeah, just the one more prophet. Okay, yeah. Right. Yeah. So now Adam comes down to earth. Mm-hmm. Right. Satan is still there and he's reproducing. Mm-hmm. Right. So there are more followers of Satan. Mm-hmm. Right. And Adam and Eve also have more uh, pro- uh, progeny. Right. Yeah. So basically, that's what's happening right now. So right, just like Wait, the, say that again. So Adam and Eve obviously had children. That's how we got here. So, okay. Right, and Satan also has followers. Okay. And they're trying to distract. Wait, them. where did he gain those followers the, from? Their children? Yeah, from his children. Okay. Essentially. That's my question, though. If if Adam and Eve had children, isn't that incest? What? Just like for that, that's a thing, right? I mean, so is incest mm-hmm. wrong? That's what I was about to ask you. Is but now it is. Now it is. But why is it now? And back then. It was well, that 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 was the only option. Well, if it, if it was incest, then those kids were retarded. Who no. said that? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they follow Satan because they were retarded. Yeah, remember, like, you remember, like, when, remember when, when you commit incest, for example. Yeah. When, it's like it's a high incre- chance. It's a high chance. It's a very high chance. It's a very high chance. But still, yeah. the Lord knows that like there might have been some that were, some of them that were. Yeah, but the okay. Let me that, ask you something. Okay. Let me ask you something. Sorry to interrupt. Mm-hmm. So, but first of all, it wasn't like so. Basically, there was it was different. Like so, you wouldn't marry the. So I don't know the exact detail, but you wouldn't marry the the sister that's born with you. Okay. You marry the one that's like after you or something like that, okay. right? But let me just ask you something. Mm-hmm. What are the chances of a man being born without a father and a mother? If you're talking about that's, chances. Okay, yeah. If you want to play the numbers game, then it's 0%. Exactly, right? Yeah. So there we go, right? So when, we, when you take a spiritual discussion, mm-hmm. it's not bounded by numbers. Because okay. if you, it's bounded by numbers, then, you know, how did the first man even come? And how did Jesus even come? And all that sort of yeah, stuff. Yeah, they can't come from it. Yeah. yeah from and it. how did the miracles happen, right? And mm-hmm. you may hopefully see some miracles in your own life yeah. that you can't explain by numbers. So you're saying God blessed them with a miracle. Adam and Eve and they're not retarded children. Well, it's not 100%. I mean, like, it's not, it doesn't mm-hmm. happen 100% of the time anyways. Yeah, you know, but in that situation, God's like, okay, I have to bless them because otherwise it's going to be... A bunch of Otherwise, videos. from whom? Like, who created that rule in the first place? But I mean, so well, the science. Uh, well, in a sense, no. There's this thing. Science that science is like an ongoing, developing thing. It doesn't always work. Like as you said, that there's there's a yeah. percentage chance, yeah. right? There's always that few percent that, that are not retarded. For example, I know, but the only thing that could defy science is God. Yeah, since God has placed those rules, mm-hmm. which we investigate and we study, yeah. and we come up with hypotheses, mm-hmm. right? That if I drop the planet, it's going to fall. Yeah. That's a hypothesis that has been true all the time. Why mm-hmm. does it work when I go to the moon? Yeah. Right? So yeah. that's, oh, there's an exception now. Okay, let me redefine my hypothesis. It's only for Earth. And yeah, yeah. why does it not work on moon? Okay, there's different elements, different particles that God has No, no, placed. I agree with yeah. you. He just, there's an exception there. With right. The, yeah. Right. So, so that's the point, right? So mm-hmm. the point is that, you know, just because there was incest, if we were to call that, it doesn't mean that all children are <coughs> okay. Anyway, so the point is now, now we are on this earth, mm-hmm. right? So one of the most important things is that how do we go, go back to that paradise? Okay, yeah. Right? And we go back to that paradise is by obeying God and, you know, basically by being sincerely sorry when we commit wrong, just like how Adam did. Right. What if I don't know if it's wrong until I get there? What, okay, good. So God will not overburden anyone. Okay. So meaning that you would clearly know that this makes sense, mm-hmm. right? And it will be a choice that you wouldn't do. Okay? okay? So if you are a retarded person in this world, for example, mm-hmm. right, you will be tested after that. Oh. Everybody would get a fair game. Okay, I like that. Right? But you're not retarded. So, so yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. If, and if you were, yeah. then imagine that, look, I mean, that you're just going to get that one chance after death, right? Now you have like 60 years, 50 years to, to figure it out. Oh, right? so all the retards are guaranteed to go to heaven. No. <laughs> Wait, what? You said if you're retarded, then you're good. No, I said you're going like, to be asked. You'll be tested oh. after. You oh, no, 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 you you first of all, you need to understand something as well, right? I mean, yeah. another element of God is that this test is for us. Yeah. God doesn't need to test us. Yeah, these tests, though. Right, yeah. yeah, I mean, he knows what we are made up of, right? Yeah. So, his, it's not a surprise to him what I'll be saying next. Yeah. 
It's a serp- it's will be a serp- it's, it's for manifestation manifestation among us. Yeah. He already knows what I'm gonna say next. Mm. But because he knows that, that yeah. doesn't mean he's compelling me. Is another element. Yeah. yeah. Now, 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 to see that brings up a question of mine. So does God know what exactly what's going to happen to, in my life? Yeah. And he knows what choices I'm going to make. Yeah. So well, if he if he knows what choices I'm going to make and he knows I'm gonna end up in hell, let's say. Yeah. Why would he create me to go to hell? Great question, right? So the same thing. Like, why would he create Satan? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but like, is it at that point do I really have free will if it's already predetermined? No. So there's a knowledge and there's an enforcement, right? Is he forcing you to go to hell? So, because think about it now, you have a few options, right? So one option is God doesn't know what you're gonna do. Uh-huh. That's a deficient God, because okay. he doesn't know, right? Even human beings now with all this superpower and computers and what have you, mm-hmm. we can predict. A, this guy can predict stock exchange for the next 10 years, right? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> right? So the better you get, mm-hmm. the better prediction you can do, right? Yeah. Now think about God, right? If he doesn't know what you're going to do, that's a deficient God. Wait, wait, wait. I have a question. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. But there's so many variables involved, so he can't, like I know it was written, but like he can't know everything that's going to happen. There's just so many variables. Yeah, I don't want to worship that God. So, so you're saying the God right now that you believe in, he yeah. knows what's going to happen. Yeah. Five years from now, even though there's like an infinite amount yep. of variables. Well, so what you're saying? Because that's the thing. It's a, that's imagine that, right? So that's what I'm saying. Look, mm-hmm. and it's easy for you to understand. Look, right? Yeah. For somebody like me, I'm like, how can this guy predict this? But then I, I'm the not next supposed year? to understand because no, I, no, I'm saying uh, relate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Relate, right? Mm-hmm. So I can say like, how, like you know, mm-hmm. how can you predict like you know stocks for the next year or next five years or variables and you know, all these technical indicators and anyway, this and that? Right? So even if I explain what I do in the stock market. And, you might not be able to comprehend because maybe you weren't supposed to know. That's what you're saying pretty much. I think I can, I can relate, right? Yeah. Because everybody has certain things that they can relate to, right? So mm-hmm. you're saying, look, you know, you just take your wisdom and multiply it by infinity and that's the wisdom of God, that's the knowledge of God, yeah. right? So it's possible, right? My question though is, see, like, with your example of me, of him predicting the market, like, he might be right most of the time, but there's times where he's wrong. Exactly. So right. there's times God is no, wrong. No, 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 not at all, right? But I'm just saying that you can at least start to see that, yeah, it's at least possible, right? The, because he is, mm-hmm. he's going to be wrong because of his lack of control, or lack of experience, lack of wisdom, lack of knowledge, lack of foresight, whatever. All these things are nothing for God. And that's, that's the beauty of it, right? That's the God that we worship. That's why we don't need any intermediaries, and that's why it's only one, because there cannot be any other. But my question is, why would he create me if he knows that I'm going to hell? Okay, so in the bigger picture, in the bigger picture, that is what shows the perfection of God, right? Because that's why I mentioned it way in the beginning, right? If he chose to, there would be no hell, and there would be no free will. It would just be angels, right? Mm -hmm. But that's still a deficient God. Right now, that so the God that we know of today is like more. It's, it cannot get better than this. It's a it's a complete picture. You mm-hmm. have hundred percent obedience. You have free will. You have paradise. Mm-hmm. God is able to show mercy. He's also mm-hmm. able to show retribution. If he doesn't put this guy in hellfire, you don't see the retribution side of God. You don't see the punishing side of God, which is still a deficient, imperfect God. If you if you're not able to do that, is there like an exception for like? Because your free will doesn't really kick in until your brain is developed at a certain point. Not like 21, you still yep. probably have like a decent amount of free will before 21. Great question. But like, let's say you're like 9 and you do something stupid. Yeah. And your brain isn't fully developed yet. Yeah. Got is that like an year. exemption? Yeah. So okay. It's like an exemption like if that 9 year old to die. Mm-hmm. Before, like for example, a kid, if he were to die like before he's able to have confidence, have confidence mm-hmm. sense, mm-hmm. then like he's given, you know, like, you yeah. know, like the gates yeah. of all. He, 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 he be tested. Okay, we don't know the exact age because it ranges. No, we know. Yeah, so we actually know in a sense. Okay, cool. So right now, all these kids that are running around here, mm-hmm. they're not fasting, man. Most oh. of them are not fasting because they're not supposed to. They may be fasting mm-hmm. out of their own choice. Yeah. But if they fast or not, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. So basically, when you reach that age of puberty or that age of mm-hmm. when you're able to discern the right from the wrong, mm-hmm. that's when the command of God, you know, applies to you. Okay, so, so it's around puberty. Yeah. So basically for us, it's like, you know, when we are born, we don't have any original sin or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Right? You're not even responsible for anything. You're not responsible mm-hmm. to pray five times a day or fast or, you know, whatever. Right? And then when you reach that age, that's when you play your ticker stop. Okay, another question. Why do innocent people die? Like, what's the logic behind that? So they should just live forever? 
No, but like if you're an innocent person and do no wrong yeah. and you just end up dying. Exactly. I think you already yeah. answered that question. Remember? Maybe I did. When you said, I'm so excited to die. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that is in that so that, that is not necessarily a bad thing, right? Like, yeah, man, when they get out of here, go to paradise. <laughs> I know, but this is what I don't understand about funerals. Because when people die, other yeah. people cry. And then I get cheese, like, why are you crying? That guy's going to heaven. Yeah. So why do people cry at funerals? Okay. Selfishness. Selfishness. See, they're selfish. Yeah. yeah, I hate that. So why don't they get paid? Like, why don't they just, just them. Huh? You you just pray pray them? That, that's actually a very good thing. In Islam, yeah. you, you only should be mourning for three days, okay. maximum. Oh, there's a grace period. Yeah, well, okay. more, and, and also within that, you shouldn't mm-hmm. go crazy. Okay. Right? In the sense that you're not like wailing and this and that, but like just some sort of sadness, right? I mean, mm-hmm. companionship, right? Like, you yeah. know, it's like, man, I lost my investor. I was going to invest my money now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, like, after three days, God's like, you get over it. Yeah, in general, like, yeah, so you have this three days, like, you know, mm-hmm. just life moves on, keep yeah. moving on. Okay, okay. I feel like if you were to go to, like, I've been to, like, a lot of Janazas, yeah. and it's kind of like the, the woman, you know, for example, a woman has, like, em- she's emotional. Yeah. Of course, if her son were to pass away, if her father passed away, she would cry based on I'm genetics not, and the, you know yeah, it's like yeah, you know, a human is you know, yeah, emotion, more yeah. emotional as they're giving yeah. the, the ability to nurture like a child compared yeah. to a man but a man and stuff like that is like if you see us when we if you mourn and when we when see someone pass away it's kind of yeah. like we're not you don't see us crying yelling screaming yeah. we're just calculating yeah. inheritance mm. we just do we just like, oh, yeah. like yo what's the little thing yeah. <laughs> it's okay. common but we just keep it we just gotta like keep it moving so like it's like that's how life is like okay. it's what death is for us a reminder for us, that you know, this life is short. So if you're a really, really good, innocent person, God will bless you by killing you early. No, <laughs> no, but for example, that's, that's all I got. Like, no, but hear me out. No, but to be honest, no. Okay, no, 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 bro, man, you're like, what? Okay, look. Okay, what if? So you're really gonna say a good person, right? Yeah. And God wants you to do more good in this world. Yeah. So you can have a better place in paradise. You're not all equal. Yeah. Be a multimillionaire, then you know, mm-hmm. less. Better no, too. success in both. Is, okay, yeah. So you can live more, and you can actually get a better place in paradise too. Yeah, by helping other people, sort of like you. Yeah. Yeah. Inshallah. Okay. Inshallah. But it's like the concept of like, if you were to, like, God doesn't like you know like I said burden like much that you can handle, right? Yeah. So for example, like for example, you might be wondering like, kids in around the world, yeah, people who are suffering, twenty four seven, they're dying. Innocent people are dying due to war. Like why? Yeah. Are, why are they dying? You know, like, mm-hmm. but if you could think about it, like, it yeah. could be kind of like. God giving them kind of like to stop those people suffering no more. It's like this is kind of like a way to kind of like, end like oh, you know, end them. It's not like they're off of themselves, yeah. but they have. It's like they have no choice. Like they're, they're like some guy yeah. pulls up, comes up to them, bombs the whole place. That's how so, he's controlling the free will. Oh my god! No, 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 no. Wait, no, no, no. Wait, that's how he's doing it though. Because like if someone has that's his explanation. Let me give you a Quranic explanation. Like, okay, okay. Like, the Quran is the worst on that, right? Okay. So Allah says in the Quran. Which means, okay. I'm giving you some words of God, right? Now okay. it's just me talking. Okay. Before it was God talking. I mean, not God, the words of God. Okay. The words of God. I'm confused, I already. Right? Mm-hmm. So, so basically, so now it's me talking, right? So I'm mm-hmm. translating so that you can. So the point is, God says that the corruption has appeared on earth yeah. and on sea mm-hmm. because of what man has earned free will man has earned because of their own actions yeah right mm-hmm. so uh, so that they may taste some of what they have done so that they may return to obedience right okay. so that stuff that we see the corruption the the, the destruction mm-hmm. is because of our own greed and that is part and parcel of the free will mm-hmm. but don't you think you need that adversity to be happy because if you're bored if you don't experience any adversity exactly you're gonna be hungry right yeah, yeah. so that's part of it too right so okay. adversity actually saves people from hellfire mm-hmm. right yeah. some people they're only gonna worship god when things are a bit tight yeah that's the you know when they become very you know generous and they have a lot of things going on for them then that's like you know i'm you so want to go to church on easter and stuff like that yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so that's the thing. So mm-hmm. it's not a, that's yeah. the thing. It's not an absolute. Mm-hmm. Some people do very well when they're rich, right? Yeah. Some people do very well only when they're poor, right? Mm. But so that's again a very good thing. Okay. So, so the point was basically that somebody dying early is not necessarily a means of protection because you, mm-hmm. you don't know, right? Is the like, Quran God's plan? Quran is God's. God's plan. Plan? Like, does he have, like, is that his plan? Like, or we can't, like, know his plan, his master plan. 
What do you mean the master plan? Because he has a plan, like, he, what, like no, why yeah, he did it. Back to, like, the reason for creation. Like, that's oh, that's true. Understand. Which is pretty much all in the Quran, and that we can't understand everything, but we're going to know. Yeah, but you people. have a pretty good, like, understanding of what's going on, right? Yeah. So the idea is, look, you know, you're here, it's like a test ground, yeah. right? So you, you can now make it back to paradise, mm -hmm. right? And when, you, when, you, when people are in paradise, there's actually kind of conversation that's going to be happening, right? Okay. We'll be talking, hopefully, in paradise together, yeah. right? But potentially, like, you know, Muhammad can have a friend mm -hmm. that he may be saying, okay, you know what, brother, believe in Islam, believe in thing, you know, think about life, the purpose of life. Yeah. Nah, what are you fool? What are you talking about? It's like old ancient stories, right? He may have somebody who's mocking him, and then they may have a conversation from paradise to hellfire. The thing is, I think he was in paradise right now. Well, you can think whatever you want, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But is that, is that reasonable? It's a theory that I have. Yeah. But, yeah. But so not not actually the question because how do you actually recognize truth, right? Mm -hmm. So the, essentially the way I think you recognize truth, and again everybody can have their own thing. Mm -hmm. So my my analogy is like around a smartphone, right? Mm -hmm. So right now it's very slow, yeah. Right. That's why I need to invest money with you and buy a new phone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. When I got it fresh, it was very fast. What's that? A Samsung or Android? It's a Nexus. Okay? Oh. Right. <laughs> right. So yeah. when I invest with you, then I can buy yeah. iPhones, right? Yeah. So anyways. So the point is, it was uh, it was fresh and it was working very fast, right? As I installed more apps and Facebook started spying on me, it was like slow, right? Yeah. So that's what happens when we are born. We have this fresh state of the heart, okay? Right? Then culture, communities, parents, friends, our own choices. Mm -hmm. Either we are keeping that high performing chip in the heart, yeah. or we are collaterating it, or you know, damaging it by all these different apps and your different things. Of your environment. Right. Okay. So now what happens is that this heart is the compass. All God has given it the mechanics because we our souls spoke to God before coming here. Okay. Right? And there's this notion of you know that you can actually connect with God, you can realize and you can be comfortable with the truth. Right? So okay. If I were to go back on my technical example, when I get a firmware update, you know, yeah. there's, there's Android update, there's all that sort of stuff. Yeah. It can only update if it's signed by Google. Okay. In general, right? Yeah. Unless he's trying to hack in or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. So the point is that when the knowledge of God and Prophet and Quran and the one God comes mm -hmm. into that heart, it makes sense to it, it accepts it, and it wants to submit to that God, right? Yeah. In general. But if the heart is too rusted, mm -hmm. right, then it wouldn't see it. Right? Oh. Now the way to remove that rust mm -hmm. is number one is to be sincere to God and ask God to help us see clearly and okay. to follow the truth. Right? Okay. The other things that what we are doing right now, right? Because a lot of questions were coming in just because of the society, the community, how we are developed, right? Our environment, right? Mm -hmm. Then with that distraction, like yeah, that's fine, you know, this is possible, this is also possible, this is not the only way, right? Mm -hmm. And you started seeing things and that, that kind of opened up your heart. To that base base state and then you can see the truth and then if that makes sense you move on with that okay scenario one yeah i go to heaven yeah. inshallah oh, all right that, oh. that's not gonna help by the way but okay. Don't all right. okay <laughs> how does that thing is gonna help me man i don't know i heard stories so, about all right that's the thing Drop right the so use your truth go back to your heart yeah man. does that make sense this word can help you it doesn't make sense but you bought it you created it mm -hmm. you know that's why we don't worship but luck doesn't Exist. It's all about faith. Yeah. Got it. I go to heaven. My parents are over here. They go to hell. How am I supposed to have fun in heaven if my whole family's in hell? Yeah. Great question, right? Yeah. So it's just like what I said about the incest example, right? Mm -hmm. You are making a rule that you cannot have fun in heaven if your parents. No, I'm gonna have fun whether they go to hell or not. <laughs> I'm gonna have a good time there. But there like, you go. I'm a different person. But like, other people are more emotional. There you go, right? So yeah. now you can relate, right? No, but I'm a different. But like, other people are more emotional. They're gonna be like, oh my gosh, didn't make it where they you know all that stuff. No, no, that's the thing. Yeah. But there's two things, right? Two Sorry. things. No, no, two things that's yeah. gonna happen. One mm -hmm. is God can change your emotions. He can change. He can. Oh, he can. Oh, okay, good. Right? Okay. This guy will be like, yeah, man, it's fine. Let me, alhamdulillah. Thank yeah. God I'm saved. Mm -hmm. Right? That's one thing. Second thing is, when you realize who God is, yeah. and you trust in God, right? If somebody is not in paradise, yeah. right? They deserve it. They didn't deserve it. Mm. Right? You, and how can you think they deserved it while you created things? I mean, 
That's the, that's this notion of yeah. mercy, right? Jesus is not merciful, more merciful to you than God Himself. You don't need to go to God through Jesus. Muhammad is not more merciful to me than God, okay. right? I can go to God direct, and that's this you know this uh, sort of a deception that a human being is more merciful than God. If God, okay. if there was any goodness in that person, that person would be imperfect. Wait, so God has no mercy. Where does that he's come from? He's more he is God. much more merciful than any other human being. I'm not being. sure that I English, but uh, yeah. Sorry, I say that again? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Wait, say that again, merciful. I'm saying, there's no human being yeah. who is more merciful to me mm -hmm. than God. What does that word mean? Merciful. Merciful? Mercy. 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 Yeah. To, to forgive again. I okay, so Dude. God is forgiven. Yeah. The most forgiven. Just, oh, the most forgiven. Okay, most that's forgiving. why I'm not bad. I'm not confused. Yeah. Uh, so our uh, emotions, like, do our do our souls have emotions, or is that strictly because we're human, like based off of our body? Like you would have you you would have notion of love, right? You would love things, you would desire things, so you would have that emotion. Yeah. So in paradise, I would desire. Yeah, you desire it. Yeah, and you would be given. You they would they, every desire would be met. So, but then does that mean gluttonous? Yeah. Like, does gluttony exist? Like, will I ever get full? Like, you know, like, you know when they say when you get everything, you kind of get bored of it? So, like, if I'm... Yeah, this is all for this world, right? Yeah. When you're in space, mm -hmm. even when you're in space, space, the dimension that the, the rules are different, right? Mm -hmm. So, it's all different in, in, in heaven. It's like, you know how, like, when an astronaut would go, for example, like, they think that, like, they keep, keep on going, going, going. Actually, going, this going, is going, very beautiful. Going, now, going. see, so sometimes what happens to me is that when I talk to other people, like, sometimes I see, I appreciate Quran more. Because I haven't thought of that. Like, but what you just said, actually, God says in the Quran that you won't be bored in heaven. Right? right. I mean, it's not just boring. I mean, but yeah, that's the thing. You, you, yeah, the whole thing, you wouldn't be that, you know, well, what, what were you saying? Oversaturated. Like, yeah, you want to be oversaturated. But then, right? let's, let's say, whatever. like, back with his example, like, with your parents, um, like, going to hell, so wouldn't, would you be sad then, in that in that case? Because that's an emotion that you still you feel. Like, you can change yeah. Yeah. And actually, you can change you, you so, so let's go, okay, you guys, you guys have, that's a very interesting thing. So now we have actually a narration in Islamic tradition that addresses that. So, Abraham, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So it's a, you know, common figure, a prophet that, you know, all Judeo-Christians have knowledge right so he had his father was a polytheist he was worshiping idols he was i think maybe even making idols right okay. so he's not going to be so on the day of judgment mm -hmm. right abraham will tell god or ask god or request god that you, you said that you know i wouldn't be uh i wouldn't be disgraced right yeah. and this is such a disgrace to me that my father is going to help her okay yeah right kind of what you're saying so god would say look right and his father would be turned into a, I don't know, like this, uh, some sort of a disgusting or despicable uh, animal or something like that, right? Okay. So your, your, your perception changes. So now that thing is going to hellfire. It's not your father in a sense. Okay. But from a metaphorical perspective, right, mm -hmm. it can happen that you, you understand that, that, yeah, this is not a disgrace for me because that, so just like that disgusting animal does not belong to paradise, yeah. You know, that person didn't belong to paradise either. So is God known as our father pretty much? Or? God, God is God. God is known as our creator. Okay, not father. Not father. That, so we don't, so we use only words for God that he has taught us, right? Yeah. How do we know what are the proper words to use for God? Yeah. Right? So wanna, okay. Yeah, so you don't want to use like words that are improper or, because father has two meanings, right? It's like, you know, in general, father is like a biological father. Yeah. Father is also someone who is sort of contemporary in a sense of same physical ability as you, right? But as we were already discussing, like God's abilities are completeness and perfection is like way beyond any human being. Right? So he's not my father. Okay, so I, I, he's your creator. Okay, he's so I go up there, I can't say, hey, dad, I have to say like... <laughs> What do I say to him? Father, Lord, God, hey, Lord. Creator, the most merciful. Can I say King? Yeah, that's one of his name actually. I yeah. like that. Okay. It's like, man, it's, like it's like you know the story yeah. of Abraham is talking about. It's like the story of Noah. Okay. Like you know, like you know, like certain, like you know, he like I'm just like Allah like you know, like, you know yeah. like, I think it's like was it his wife and his children? Who said like, come on the ark, for example? But they did not listen. They didn't go on the boat. The, if you know, if you read the Bible and stuff like that, you see the story so, of Noah. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it, the movie. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the movie is good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. If you go to the original yeah. concept, if you go to the original concept of the book, yeah. it's like the whole concept of like you was talking about like when no June was talking about like my family stuff like that, like you know like when I feel type of way, but one 
when reality kicks in, when you have to kind of choose, it's like when you see your family stuff like that, like when Prophet, when Prophet Noah and stuff, when he saw the family, like his yeah. kids and his, his wife not listening, not, like, mm-hmm. so, like, not obeying, yeah. he did not, like, you know, like, like you know, oh, that's it, like, you know, like, nah, I'm not going. He, kept, he had to keep moving. Yeah. It's like how life, when life, it's like when, when things happen to one person, right? Mm-hmm. It's, there's no question. It's, when, when something bad happens to you, when yeah. you lose a friend, when 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 you lose like for example fifty percent of your stock and like your investment one day yeah. it's not like why 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 it's it's just, just keep moving it's just one of the things that you heart you just have to remember like your purpose in life mm-hmm. is just like you have to worship like there is a superior being a where picture. like you know there's a bigger picture okay. right there it's like I don't want to go like there's so much other content but for example I'm gonna yeah. say one thing they did the they, the day of judgment right yeah. when everything gets matters mm-hmm. at the end of the day. You're not gonna matter what your mom is doing, your dad's doing, what he's doing. You're worried mm-hmm. about where you're going, because at the end of the day, there's yeah. a world called nefsi nefsi, mm-hmm. myself, myself, myself. Because yeah. you're worried about yourself. Because at the end of the day, well, that ego is not bad, right? Because you need a little bit of ego. No, it's of my ego. It's, it's a self care. Like you self care about, worried about yourself, right? So it's more like survival instinct than yeah. ego. Yeah. Okay, that makes it's sense. Like, yeah, so it's like you're a human, right? So for right. example, like when they judge me, you're worried about like eternal health. You, you might be going like hell. What the hell? Like, I'd rather yeah. go to hellfire. I'd rather go to paradise and go to hellfire. Like, you know, you worry mm-hmm. about that. Yeah. And then, like, everything, when that day, of course, like, when we say there's certain things we don't comprehend, mm-hmm. but when, it, when that day comes, it's like you're focused on just, like, there's so much things going to be happening and stuff like that. You're worried yeah. about yourself. Mm-hmm. You're not worried about anything else. Yeah, take care of myself and take care of other people. Yeah. But then I can't force my mom and dad to convert. No, they can't. on their own. It's okay, like, for yeah. example, when you, be, when, you, when you became, when you started being successful and working hard and stuff like that, mm-hmm. and people linger, when they're trying to drag you back, are you, are you trying to let them, are you going to still be stuck in that environment, that people that drag you back? No. No, I, I can't well, force them to be you successful. Can't. I have to, I could you can tell guide, them. You can guide, hey, like, yeah. you know, come on, like, you know, like, we want to mm-hmm. do stuff, but they choose not to listen. Yeah. And, like, your friends, like, they want to stuck in their passive like you know like mm-hmm. struggles you know jail and stuff like that yeah. there's nothing you can do if they want to be gangbangers mm-hmm. that's how they want to do gangbangers you can't so show them the path you can't walk you can't yeah. it's like you take you take a horse to like that you take a horse to the, uh, you can take a horse to the pond but you can't force the pond the, the horse to drink it's actually a camel same concept <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah and then same thing that like you don't want your kids to be having the discussion that you're having about your parents right yeah so that's why you want to make good choices for them too wait will i have kids in heaven yeah you can't if you if you want to you can have them. Yeah, like oh okay yeah. no like <laughs> I was not I was thinking about how many like, now <laughs> yeah you okay. can have like as I said like it's, oh, it's wait, all free so yeah, right if, right if you if you desire it you can have it. wait a second so okay shit sure. oh, my bad okay so I don't have to get married or anything now I don't have to have kids can I just wait till I'm in heaven to have my kids and wife and everything that's just how much you can make it yeah. okay but it's like okay. when you get married it's like it's it, it, and the religion is kind of like you complete like like you don't have to, man. Like, you, you don't have to. Yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to. Technically, if you want to, you have to. You have. You have. You have. You're human. You have desires. So I'll just wait because you know. a wedding in heaven. Oh my gosh, that'd be so. <laughs> no, you can have a wedding here. Yeah. And you can have a wedding a there too. Huh? Not a problem. Okay. Okay. You don't lose, right? Yeah. If the you, wedding there. Oh gosh. Uh, yeah. So, but okay. Let's think. How do you get to that wedding? Let's let's yes. give you a game plan. Mm-hmm. Number one is that you actually acknowledge and believe in your heart, okay. right? So your heart accepts that message that there's only one God yeah. who is perfect, and who is not like human beings, mm-hmm. doesn't have any sons and daughter, any wife, nothing, right? Mm-hmm. He's the king, he's the honor, he has complete complex mm-hmm. control and knowledge, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. He is the greatest. Mm-hmm. That's one. Second thing is that your heart accepts and believes that Muhammad is the final messenger of God, peace be upon him, Jesus, Abraham, uh, Moses and all the others were also messengers of God, okay. but you're not required to follow their message mm-hmm. right now because it does not even exist, mm-hmm. right? The current law that applies to you is the law of Quran, the way that the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him brought, okay. right? And from there, so that that's the first pillar, right? Once you have that, then basically the second thing that becomes obligatory on you or the second pillar is these five prayers. So this is a call to prayer. Okay. It's a free choice, free will, mm-hmm. right? If you choose, you can pray, mm-hmm. right? If you choose, you can't, right? But God is only calling to five meetings a day, five short okay. meetings, right? At certain times. It's so, so intervals, so. not a specific time, intervals, right? Oh, so you intervals. Have, it's oh. an interval, right? So you go and have a meeting with that. It's not a task. It's an opportunity for you to connect with God, okay. right? And it's impossible. If I come to you and you're a nice guy, yeah. right? 
and I come to you and I have a coffee with you, you're mm-hmm. gonna try to give me some value, some investment tip, hopefully, right? Yeah. And try to sign me up as well, up sale, yeah, but. Of course, hey, hey, hey. But, yeah. but that's just you as a human being. How mm-hmm. is it possible that I go and I pray to God and mm-hmm. I bow down to him and he doesn't give me value? So right. you're going to ask him for stuff? Yeah, you're going to ask him for stuff. Most importantly, that wedding in the paradise, right? Yeah, yeah. And other yeah. stuff too. Right? Okay, so I'm not worried about what he gives me now. I'm worried about what he gives me. No, also, yeah. no, it's, he will give you now too. Yeah, but I don't want to ask for too much down here, right? But even if what you do, it's not going to reduce. He has in, infinite resources, right? Mm-hmm. When you ask, mm-hmm. that actually gets you closer to God. Just the act of asking. He wants you to ask. Exactly. He wants you to ask for your own good. Not, it wouldn't make him bigger, mm-hmm. right? He can. He like, wants he has, to share, right? He has infinite resources. It's yeah, so like share. he wants to share, like he's all, okay. Yeah. It's yeah. not. It's not sharing. He has infinite resources. He can create another phone and give it. Oh, to he's you. not it's sharing. No sharing. He's giving. Yeah, it's not like you know sharing car, right? I'll just okay. create another one and for you. No yeah, so he's blessed. You want you. one? I'll create one for you. Okay, oh, mind that. There you go, right? <laughs> well, why is it that you don't always get what you ask for? Because. Are your choices for yourself better or his choices for yourself better? Oh, so he's like, yo, I want this. And he says, no, that's not good for you. He yeah. won't give it to you. Oh, so that's, that's like that. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> he cares for you, right? Like, yeah. He knows what's good for you. I want McDonald's. Oh, no. Nah. But he can do it. He sees more into it. Like, you know, it's like, it's not like. Yeah, there's, he, he yeah. sees the bigger. But my point is that he is always going to give you something. Okay, so, so if I ask you for a phone, mm-hmm. for a phone, he may not give it to me right now. Yeah. But he's going to give me something. It's not going to be like nothing for you, right? You okay. can say, okay, I was going to make you sick, mm-hmm. but you're not going to be getting sick now, for example, okay. right? Or this other test was going to come, like, you know, you were going to lose money with this yeah. guy, yeah. so you're not going to be investing with that, uh, that anymore, right? Whatever, right? I'm just yeah. saying it's something good. No, I run into that. I'm thinking right now. That's, that's serious. <laughs> yeah. Wait, okay. You be, okay keep so going. prayers, five prayers, mm-hmm. okay? Then the third thing is fasting. So you're not going to be drinking water in Ramadan. That's not bad. Okay. The third thing is fasting. Yeah. But no, but I mean, as I'm going down the mm-hmm. chain, yeah. it's lesser and less important. Oh, okay. right? It's I mean, le- oh, yeah, it's, literally it's okay. all important, right? But I mean, mm-hmm. he, God can forgive you this. Yeah. If you want to take your chances, mm-hmm. right? He can forgive you that. Yeah. But, but you want to do your best to like, yeah, make sure you're going to do your best, right? You're going to be okay. as much compliant as possible, mm-hmm. right? Uh, then the fourth thing is. Uh, you may not like it, but it's like 2.5% of charity on your excess wealth. No, that's okay. Yeah, I know about that. And the church is like 10% because... Yeah. Uh, and it doesn't go to me. Uh, yeah, it goes to... Poor people. Actually, the, yeah. right? it couldn't go to your family members mm-hmm. who are poor or what yeah. have you, right? We're actually doing that this month so, for like, my do you, funds. Do you, so, yeah. do you get to choose what the 2.5% goes to? Yeah, you, you, you can choose. Yeah. So I, I can't come say, hey, I invited you to Islam. Give me my 2.5%. No. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right? And oh, then... That was like a kickback. That's mm-hmm. sick. All right. Oh, wow. I wanna make a commission. Yeah. And then fifth thing is uh is 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 once in a lifetime pilgrimage to oh, to oh, Mecca. I heard of that. What is that? Oh, that's when you go there, right? Yeah, if you're okay. able to then, right? Mm-hmm. So that's it. Right? That's the that's the basic essence, right? Mm-hmm. But the point is that you wanna start somewhere, right? Mm-hmm. So if your heart makes sense <coughs> to your heart that God is one, Quran is the book of God, Muhammad mm-hmm. is the messenger of God, mm-hmm. and along with all the other messengers, yeah. right? That's the first step. And you'll take that first step and then you'll work on your prayers. Okay, what's number two? That's five prayers. Oh, five prayers. Okay, okay. Right? First and one, then yeah. you will work on your... Oh, the, the, so two things in that. One is God and mm-hmm. the messengers of God. Okay. Right? Okay, last prophet. Last prophet. And you see so you're acknowledging all messengers, but the law that's applicable to you is what is preserved in Quran and so on and so forth, right? Got it. All right. And then the prayers. And then you slowly, slowly build on, on other things. Mm-hmm. Right? But... If you don't have this, mm-hmm. that was your original question, yeah. right? So you can think that you're good, but you're defining good according to your own terms. Yeah. Just like Shaitan also defined good. Like well, my if good. I, if I define good based on these terms, then I'm actually good. Yeah, because then you're yeah. like, good, where does good come from? Well. Like who, yeah. who, who can ultimately decide good? Yeah, it's a, yeah. It's just an absolute thing. Is that like, you know, like how, how would you be good if you don't even, you know? Because you and I, our souls promise to Allah, we acknowledge to Allah that Allah is our Lord. Yeah. We already did that. Mm-hmm. 
Now, the point is that, are we manifesting that in this life or not? Rishnu's looking at that's the thing, right? And and this is an experience that you and I've all had, right? Yeah. And as you unclutter that, it will make sense to you, and you would see aligned to that. You see that from my understanding, every religion has like commandments that you abide by, and they're pretty similar, to be honest. So this is like the, the ten commandments, pretty much. Right. Well, there's a difference actually, right? That's a good yeah, thing. So now you want to compare the religion. So we believe in the religion that Jesus brought, right? But we also believe that it does not exist anymore. Okay. Right, because okay. now it's like tempered with and what have you. Okay. The first thing, if you want to, so as I was saying in your heart, you take the definition of God yeah. that, that we are giving in Islam, mm -hmm. and you take it to your heart, and then you take any other definition, okay. right? You would find it to be imperfect God. You cannot have a more perfect, complete God than the Islamic monotheistic God that we have, right? Mm -hmm. So that itself for me is like the biggest thing. Okay. I can't think that any other religion they go to, like it's a deficient God. Yeah, I'm with you. No, that, that goes back to my original question about the sex. So, like, with yeah. the different sex. What, what means Good. Okay, God. so the, the second point will hopefully answer that, right? So the second point is the knowledge, right? So even if I say, okay, I want to be a Christian today, right? How do I worship God? Like, I don't have access to knowledge. Yeah. Right? Oh, so then, okay. so the, the knowledge is preserved in Islam. Mm -hmm. Right, so we can go back to the Quran. We can go back to the prophet's yeah. statement, yeah. and everything, everything that's attributed to him is mm -hmm. verified. We have yeah. different level of confidence, mm -hmm. right? I'm hundred percent confident that the prophet said this or did this, mm -hmm. right? But this statement came from this guy. I don't trust this guy, yeah. so I don't, I don't take his statements about the prophet, for example, okay. right? So everything has been like verified. So the point around the sect is that you want to basically be as close to the orthodox understanding of Islam the way that the Prophet practiced it, which also has a lot of freedom, just like Adam had the freedom in the paradigm. It sets you the, the guidelines, and then there's a lot of freedom around it. Now, when you talk about any other sex in Islam, you can put it on those two things. One, their, defi their, their definition of God would be deficient, right? Or they would not be going to the orthodox understanding of Islam. So for example, for Shia, and not every random Shia on, on the street, there are scholars I'm talking about, most people don't have like, you know, detailed knowledge, right? So for example, for many of the Shias, uh, if you take the understanding of God and you say, okay, what are the powers of you know, the companions of the Prophet or the, or the family of the Prophet? You would see them defining their powers to be something that we only attribute to God. Right? As an example, right, this conversation that we are having right now, you know, you know, only we are hearing this, right? And everybody else is monitoring us like the agency was, right? Yeah. But other than that, my mom yeah. is not hearing this conversation. Yeah. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is not hearing this conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, his family members are not hearing this conversation. Yeah, they're up in heaven too. Right? But when you go to some of the sects that you're mentioning, they probably would agree with the statement that I just made. Wait, so his question is like the hierarchy. So there's like a hierarchy in the uh, like it's kind of like you know how yeah, like, you know how Christians have like Catholic yeah so they have some deviations oh, it's different oh does so that exist in, yeah yeah oh, so they have yeah. some deviations but they would always you can always you know wipe that out if you use these two criteria right the mm -hmm. definition of God would be deficient they would give power to human beings mm -hmm. uh, that are you know only uh, only uh, deserving to be belonging to God for yeah. example yeah. Yeah. that's you were saying she is. Yeah, so Shem of the Shia. So again, it's like a whole big variation, right? And, and that's, that was, that, no, it wasn't confusing because, like, I had this thing, like, you know, when I, I was growing up, I, I was growing up in some, around some sites that I didn't follow, right? And after university, when I started researching, that was my criteria. Like, I need to figure out what's the right way. And I, I saw that, you know, everybody else is a deficient definition of God, right? Why should I, for example, ask Prophet Muhammad instead of asking God directly? What, uh, what sect did you use? So, well, what would what it be considered as, like, the nation of Islam? Or no, so it's not, the nation of Islam is not Muslim. Wait, what is the, yeah. so what is that? I don't know the details of that, but, like, they like they don't, they don't have these things that we're talking about. They may have parts of it, but they don't have that. Those okay. little so then you have to choose which, what is it? You don't have to choose, but again, you're following Quran and Sunnah. You don't, like, okay. you don't have to be attributed to a sect. Yeah. Right? Okay. The attribution would actually only happen when you have people deviating, right? Mm -hmm. As one of my teachers said, that look, you know, back in the day, there was only food, yeah. right? Now, because of all this, we have organic food, non-GMO, this and that, mm -hmm. right? I just want natural food. 
Yeah. Right? And that's what you think. I just want the natural, the purest love. Okay. Right? Then if somebody calls you to do this thing, well, this is not in Quran. I'm not calling it. I'm only calling Quran and Sunnah and the way of the Prophet, the understanding of his What do you think happens to those people who are in those different ones? It, it really depends, right? I mean, it's hard to just, like, you know, if they really believe it or they just attributed it to because of family, but they were practicing the pure natural version, right? Yeah. So. But, you know, so, as I said, like, a, no, a normal layman person who may attribute to a sect because of family reasons yeah. may not even be aware of the details, and he would just be, like, a regular 9 to 5 Muslim. Okay. Okay. Like this? Like, you're not supposed to, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's a problem. So, like, how do, what do I do about that? So, so everybody would have sins, right? Then nobody's asking you to be perfect, right? So, you're going to try your best. But if I sin all the time... Bro, I said, <laughs> if you sin all the time, you ask for forgiveness all the time, yeah. and you try your best not to do it. And okay. that's why, as he was suggesting, you get married. Okay, but every time I do it, I have to, like, ask for forgiveness. Yeah, and you, you actually try not to do it. Yeah, okay, I'll try, but it's, it's just gonna, it's gonna happen. It's, it's just gonna happen, then you say sorry. It's not gonna be like, oh, I'm just gonna kill somebody. I'm gonna kill somebody, but I'm gonna repent right away. <laughs> it's not like, you gotta be sincere, you gotta be yeah. like, no, sincere. No, I am sincere. sincere. It's like, I don't wanna do it, but like, if it happens, it happens. I'm just gonna go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> no, so that's the thing. If it yeah. happens, it yeah. happens. Right? And ask God for assistance. This is what I'm saying. This is nothing compared. This is a sin that can be forgiven, right? Okay. So let's say you, you did it like a thousand times. Yeah. Right? Yeah, and, yeah. and God forgives you. Mm -hmm. Right? Can this guy go and say, God, like, you know, why did you forgive him? No. Like, I mean, this guy had an issue. This is how he was brought up or whatever. Okay. And, you know, so what? Like, he was sincere, genuine it's just about like, it. Uh, I, I want to say it's a medical condition, but I don't know if it's like, yeah. But that's the thing. I don't want to ask God. So forgiveness sorry. every single day, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we we all ask for forgiveness. Do you think I don't have mistakes? He doesn't have yeah. mistakes. The Imam doesn't have mistakes. Oh yeah. Yeah, mistakes. but every single day you commit a sin. But you have yeah. to actually every day. not to commit. Like you have oh, to actually yeah. try. It's yeah. not like you do it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, look, I mean, are we are we giving the thanks that God deserves? Right? How much mm -hmm. time do I waste? For just the basic thing. How many how many times do I get distracted in the praise? I'm talking to God. He's facing me. Yeah. And I'm thinking about you know what am I gonna tell you know when uh, Muhammad is gonna bring his friend, for mm -hmm. example. Yeah. Right? That's disrespect. If that. you're distracted. Yeah. Okay. So I'm saying that different things happen. The point mm -hmm. is that, you know, nobody's asking you to be perfect and you cannot yeah. be perfect. And that's part of this humbleness and humility to I'm God. I'm saying you're probably distracted because you don't masturbate enough. The more <laughs> I masturbate, the more focused I am. Okay, we get this. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah. This is. This is yeah. Like they were going to agree to disagree. But yeah. It's okay. But there's. there's were, a big no, let me give. No, but I'm okay. saying that this should not stop you from becoming a Muslim. Right? No, it won't, but I almost did. Yeah, because. Okay. Because, look, they were their prophet's companions, mm -hmm. right? They, they could not stop, some of them, or one of them, they could not stop consuming alcohol, mm -hmm. right? Oh yeah, I heard about that. They, they used to drink wine. I yeah, love wine but when wine was prohibited, mm -hmm. some of them still drank, right? But so they were the prophet still drank it? No, no. His prophet never drank, oh, okay. right? His companions. Oh, his friends. His followers. His followers. followers. Yeah, okay, people, okay. So the, so like we are all the followers, but you're not living with him, right? Yeah. They were living with him. They were around him. They were seeing mm -hmm. the miracles happening right in front of them. Yeah. Right. So so that's the difference. Right? I mean, obviously those were the best two generations. They were mm -hmm. with him. They were suffering, fighting, you know, sacrificing with him. Yeah. So right? why did they make that wine illegal? Pretty much. Yeah. Like, not the. I was about to ask about. So if they made the wine illegal, or like you know, if they realized that it was a sin, does that mean that the religion or Islam is is forever changing? No. So it's also from a notion of gradual, right? <coughs> Things were done gradually, right? Even a new, a new Muslim comes into Islam, yeah. you're not going to be like, you know, as compliant as him, which is okay. very easy, but anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> joking, yeah. joking, right? Sorry. <gasps> we got our <a> date. <laughs> <laughs> the point is that, you know, you're not going to be like 100% compliant on day one. Yeah. Right? It's a gradual thing. The more your love grows for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the more mm -hmm. compliant you become. Well, well. When they made that illegal, wasn't the book still being written? Or no, the book was done. No, no, the book, the book came down over a period of time. It wasn't like one day. Yeah, exactly. So they're still like editing oh, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. editing it. The new rules were coming over time. Okay. 